In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the driver's side front CV axle on this Audi A4. It's going to be located behind the front wheel on the driver's side. Let's get into it. In the trunk, lift up where the spare tire is. You can see where the toolbox is right here. Just lift the handle, slide this out, you can open this up. Side. Here's the ring that we're looking for. Now using the tool from the trunk, just put that in the hole in the center cap and you can pull the center cap out. Using a 17 millimeter socket, take the lug bolts off. Before I take the last one, I'm just going to hold the wheel on so it doesn't fall. Grab the wheel, slide it off. We're going to take the wheel speed sensor out just so we don't damage it when removing the CV joint. Use a five millimeter hex socket. Take this bolt out. Grab the sensor, slide it out. If you need to, you can use some pliers. Grab it, just set that aside. Down closer to the ground, put two of the lug studs in and just a pry bar to prevent it from spinning. I'm using a H17 socket or a hex 17 millimeter socket. I'm just gonna loosen this up. use an impact, take it out the rest of the way. Now we're going to take this bolt out, use a 16 millimeter socket, 16 millimeter wrench on the nut. Loosen the nut off, and pull the bolt out. You might have to push down on the control arms a little bit. And just using a punch, I'm just gonna tap out the ball joint. Just be aware that this knuckle could slide forward. Tap the other ball joint out. There we go. Pop that out. If you need to, I just used a pry bar and just tapped it like right there. Then on the inboard side of where the CV axle is, we're going to take these bolts out. You're going to use a M10 triple square socket. Take those out. And take that out. And now pull the axle out. You may have to turn the wheel all the way to one side just so you have a little more room. right out. I'll take the new axle, and slide it in the same way the old one came out. Get that lined up in the hub. And the flange on the inside, inboard side, get that lined up. Take the bolts, get those started.
Now just try to, try to tighten these down evenly. Just snug them down and then just spin it 180 degrees and tighten that one down. Just snug. I'll go back to that other one. Try to do it as even as possible. That's good. To stop the axle from spinning, I'm just gonna put a straight blade screwdriver just through one of the rotor fins. And now we're gonna torque these bolts to 40 foot-pounds. And again, we wanna do it evenly, so we'll just go 180 degrees. Skip two, go to that one. And once you do two across from each other, then you can just go and just move on to the next one, one at a time. Take the, take the screwdriver out of there. Take the upper control arms, get those lined up. Push those down. You can use a pry bar. Get the bolt started. This one down a little. Put the nut on. And we're going to torque this bolt to 30 foot pounds. the new axle bolt in. You can push the axle from the back, make sure the threads are in correctly, or the splines. Snug that down first. Now we're gonna to torque this bolt to 147 foot-pounds. And then an additional 180 degrees. If you don't have a torque angle meter, do the best you can. You can always mark your socket and then just turn an additional half turn. All right, do the best you can. And we'll take the lug bolts out. the wheel speed sensor, line that up, take the bolt, get that started. And snug that down. And we'll torque that to 89 inch pounds. That's good. Now take the wheel, install the wheel. 
hole lined up. Take the lug bolt, get that started. Once you get one in, you can let go of the wheel and get the other one started. And snug those down. Now I'm going to torque the lug bolts to 90 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just going to go around again, double check. Take the center cap, you can line that circle the hole with the valve stem and push it on. Take the little hook, put it back in the tool kit and close it up. Put it back where it goes, lift the handle and put the handle down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.